Hi, I'm Joel Randall. I'm the designer here at Airwolf 3D. Uh, today's project was um, I recently purchased a street bike here, a Triumph uh, Daytona. Um, the original tailpiece that holds the license plate, uh, turn signals, and reflectors for safety uh, was really long, bulky, kind of cumbersome uh, on the bike. Didn't flow well with the uh, the whole you know aesthetic of the bike. Um, so using 3D printing uh, to help me in the manufacturing process, I was able to streamline uh, the whole part to hold everything I need and fit the overall look of the bike. For most traditional manufacturing for a product like this, uh, we're basically metal-based, uh, aluminum, um, either casted, which would then involve making a, a, a plaster mold um, and then melt it away and having metal poured in and then cleaned up, or a fabrication shop would possibly take it, make each individual section having to tack it together, kind of reform it and then maybe make cuts and grinds and you know change it to the overall look uh, which would take a lot of time a lot of precision um, and it would mean the bike would have to be taken away from me for you know a week two weeks at times so they could take measurements and do test fits and it's just it's a long process so the way 3d printing is able to uh, aid in this fabrication style is the fact that I can make changes in the CAD model which is the 3d programming um, basically instantly. As soon as I have my model, which can take anywhere from three to you know 10 hours, depending on the quality I want, you know, so for test fits, there's about a two hour print. I can make sure it fits, you know, the bolt holes where I want it, line up with some of the angles on the, the undertail there. Um, and then if it doesn't, you know, make my notes, change it in the model, reprint it, you know, five, six times throughout the day. So then overnight, I can print the whole thing and do a full dry run in the morning. Whatever else doesn't fit, I can make those changes that day. So I can take a process that could take weeks at a fabrication shop, I can turn it into three or four days um, with a 3D printer. The design process that um, I used um, for the overall project, since we were going from something that was much longer and uh, didn't really fit the shape of the bike, we wanted to tuck everything in uh, to as small as a package as we can but like most aftermarket things we didn't want it to just look like it was a bolt-on you know something that was just we'll put spacers in in between things to make it fit and things like that we wanted to have that still that factory look um, and carry out some of the lines from the bike so um, the bike had some really nice lines and some framework with the subframe and things like that so that's kind of where a lot of the inspiration uh, for the overall design came from The final product we actually I went with polycarbonate, uh, which is a really strong material, so it's able to hold up to the speed of the bike, the wind hitting against it, um, any rocks or debris that might hit it, and the overall heat from the bike exhaust tires. You know, um, overall sunlight throughout the day and months of it being on the back of the bike. Clutch levers, brake levers are possible. Uh, you know. Mirror, uh, turn signals, you can do housings, you can do different mounts, uh, the sliding pucks that you can buy uh, just in case you drop the bike, you know, you don't want to damage your uh, bearings and stuff. So those are all possibilities, uh, especially if you have an uh, Airwolf Axiom printer to where you can use the polycarbonate and the nylons and some of those higher grade temperature materials, especially the enclosed uh, build chamber allows for those great parts to have great surfacing, great adhesion, and just overall great printing parts. Joel Randall here at Airwolf 3D. Please stay tuned for any other uh, exciting projects that we do and any updates uh, regarding this one as well.